welcome to another guide so for Helion. So today we'll be doing a what you do from a fresh start. But real quick, since I'm here on the screen currently, I can explain to you what these different menus mean. Yeah, I mean they pretty much define about what their titles are. But continue allows you to continue where you left off, but that's only if you died. It will not allow you, if you click if you um have to click continue and you were previously logged off with a suit on or inside a ship, that means you died. And odds are that ship or base, wherever it was, is your stuff's probably gone. Now random outpost on our hand a huge outpost, yeah it has great loot. It has not been looted yet, but you can't get off of it because there is no ship. So essentially it's just a PvP in um, arena. And the fourth one over here says invite. It allows it has wait that's is what you will click on if your friends invite you to their station via a cryopod which is he's picked it right there but today we're gonna click we're gonna start from a fresh start so you see you got the loading screen and that's not supposed to happen but there we are so now it first starts off it won't allow you to move your mouse sometimes for a little bit depending on the server lag so now let's get started shall we press F to get out of the pod you gotta give it time to do a little animation of you getting out there we are like you see here, we have two crowd pods. One's for you, and the second one is for you, or not for well, not for you. It's actually for your buddy. The second one's for your buddy. So you see, you got little emergency protocols. I'm not going to go over those right now. Those those will contain information that you might need to know. Um, when you first start off, it might be good to read to give you some background story. But anyways, so once I got out of the crowd pod, I went around here. So it's only a small little area. But first, I actually should go turn on the power. That should be a good idea. So you want to click the capacitate, capacitor, and then you want to click click on solar panels, and that looks like a bug because it won't. It should. It's saying um, efficiency. Okay. Well, hopefully you have server mirror. Yeah, there we go. It's working. That was just a bug. So then, second thing you want to go to is a life support. You want to turn on your oxygen generator and your air filter. And then you want to come over here, press F on the air filter, and you want to come over here, this box, oh, no, wrong box, this box, this box has the air filters, there we are, and, it, and I would get green ones at first, because those are the best ones, because red meat has been worn down, so I'll put two in there, I'll press F on it again, have it go in and close, so now we're good to go. So now we gotta get my suit on. Press F, hold R, F, R. Press X to bring up the visor, and then equip this. So another thing you should be aware of also is that when you have your face max down, you are using up oxygen. You can be in oxygen in an oxygenated environment, and also use oxygen if your face mask is down. So now. I'm just gonna come over here, press F, and get that, or actually it'll open automatically. But you may not want to worry about it right here too. Now press T to turn on my RCS thrusters on my jetpack. But the main thing you want to worry about is not getting blown back into your door. Like that can depressurize your whole station. So you what you want to do is get over here on the side where it has a door control, and you can go out one of two exits or entrances, however you want to define them. So what you're gonna do now is I want to press F, pull down a lever, and I'm holding Shift. With my face mask down, because it's going to depressurize this um, little corridor. So now I'm going to come out. I'm going to press K. So let's see. Where is that module? And I want you to do the arrow keys. Okay, let's see. We'll be down this way. Um, where is that? There it is. There is our airlock module. See, also, you don't want to hold down the A, W, S, or A, or D keys because you don't decelerate automatically. You have to manually decelerate. So for every minute you accelerate, you got to spend one minute decelerating. Now, that can get really tricky in a ship, but we're not going to cover that right now in this guide. So, as I'm approaching the airlock module, it's going to get there eventually. It should probably go a little faster here. But, also you can see on my radar, there's a ship. And another ship. One of the ships is actually the station. As you can see right now, I'm decelerating. And I want to press 
shift. Oh, no, I missed the airlock. See, that's what... Now, if you're going too fast, like I was, and are not paying attention, you can miss your target. And depending on how fast you're going, that can be as simple, like I just did a quick turn around and get back on it. And you also press shift to grab onto the station. Or it can also end up being one where you spend 10 minutes trying to just stop. So now you see right here, this is the RCS panel to maneuver the station. This is right here, it says, um, let's see, this is docking panel access. You want to press F on that and it'll bring up this little controller. Then what you go do is press F on that controller. And see how it says on the bottom left? It says airlock dock port A and standard docking port A. You want to press R to get standing do standard docking port because you don't want to dock the airlock side because that is that defies the purpose of it. You have to depressurize every single time. So now, as you can see, there'll be air on the left. That is where your station's at. So I want to turn that way. My station's going to be up though. So I'm going to want to press Shift to stabilize it. And the little the, the hexagon in the center. That is your that is your alignment to the station or to the mod to the um, corridor you're docking to. You want that to align. You want the arrow in the middle, that's in that little hexagon that's currently rotating, to your right. You want that to line up with the top. So for now, I'm not going to worry about that. For now, I'm going to focus on trying to get my airlock to my um, life support module, aka my lifeboat. So this is your starting module. As you see, there's a few things around it right now. Actually, I'm going to switch the docking ports I'm going to go to. So, in order for you to do that, ooh, I'm coming a little fast. In order for you to do that, you're going to need to hold, you're going to need to actually um, right click. Yeah, you right click on your mouse. You want to right click on your mouse to select to change which one, at which docking port you want to target on the uh, module that you're actually targeting. Now you press R to change which viewing camera you're looking out of on a module you're currently um, trying to dock. So remember, R changes the viewing camera from like which air, which dock thing you want to go to. As you can see right here, I came in a little bit too fast, but that works perfectly actually. Now I'm going to press Q to rotate. As you can see right here, I'm going to press Shift and I overdid it. Yeah, you got to be a little gentle, you just want to barely tap it. Let it do itself. Now I want to stabilize it right about there by holding shift. Almost got it. And it'll say also say low fuel. But you have to be advised of that uh, be aware is that you only have so much RCS fuel. Can't it doesn't have a whole bunch of fuel. So you have you have a limited number of tries, but enough to pretty much almost guarantee you're gonna get the airlock on there. Now when I first started, it was a little challenging, it'll take you a while to get used to it. Because right now I might say, oh yeah, it's fairly easy for him to do it. I mean, even now I'm having a little bit of difficulty. Because they add, they add a new update which changes the way the RCS thrusters work. But, see for now, like right now, you have to come in at a fairly slow speed, you can't just ram it on. And you also want to make sure you're partially, you're fairly lined up. Like, this might work, might not work, let's find out if it works, it should work, there you go. As you can see, once you get to a certain distance, it will automatically dock it for you. So now let's go inside the airlock and see what we have. As you can see right over here, this is the side that you want facing outwards. This is the reason I said go to use the dock using the standard docking port, not the airlock. You want to click depressurize. Because if you put that facing inwards, you are not able to depressurize. And so every time you're going in, you're venting out air. And that's not a good idea to be venting out air because then it wastes resources and it makes it a little bit harder to get in and out because you can get blown out in space. That's why I held shift when I was first getting out of my station. So now I want to come over here, repressurize, and I click repressurize and automatically shuts the doors. And right here you can see the docking control. You'll only use that if you want to detach the module from whatever it's hooked up to. Say for example you have, say for example you have the mod this airlock hooked up to a ship. You have to flip that lever on the airlock and then flip and go in the ship and flip that lever in the ship. That will then make it so that you're able to undock them. So now here I'm going to press F, open that, and artificial artificial gravity is going to be engaged right there. So as you can see right here, I have a full EVA helmet, a full EVA suit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to 
get out, take off my helmet, throw this off to the side, take off my jetpack, throw this also off to the side. I'm going to click remove outfit, I'm going to press J G, not J, G. I'm going to hold R to equip it. Hold R. Another thing you should be aware of is that with the EVA suit, you are only, you have to take off your suit to order to breathe um, the air inside your ship or station. Took me a while to realize this, but it, it takes it takes a long time to deplete your oxygen because it has like I don't know how long of oxygen. I never tested how long it has. Some people say it's four hours. It probably is about four hours of oxygen compared to the other suit. But this one also has um, more. Uh, yeah, I think it's more tool slots. So if I hold uh, tab, see right there, I got a few more slots for medical supplies. Not ammo, but medical medical supplies. So, I mean, I cannot put the face mask either. I can press X and it'll turn off the um, over overlay of it. But it will not actually bring up the mask. So I'll still be using oxygen. So then where's my ship at? Press K. Okay, now I'm going to go scroll, go down. Let's see, where is that ship at? It should be up. There it is. As you see, the ship sometimes can be a little hard to find. Sometimes it'll be right outside your door. Other times you got to look around a little bit. But it'll never be super far away. It'll be within like 500 meters of your um, starting module. Assuming you get it right out and take care of everything right when you first spawn. Maybe you leave it overnight. Mm. It could still be there. It might actually be gone. You never know. Because the people actually, like I do, oh, I came a little too hard for that. You can kill yourself if you do it's hit too hard. But some people, like I do, once we get our ships going, we try to find other ships to take out pieces. So I'm going to come over here, I'm going to depressurize, and let it do its thing for a while. As you can see over here, you got a few controls, you can you got parts out here you might want to replace. This is the engine service department. I've never actually opened this before, so let's find out what it does. That's pretty good. It's pretty awesome. But there's no point for engine right now currently because it doesn't really work and, and there is no way to get a high energy laser currently nor is there a way to get a plasma accelerator you get the resource injector but not the plasma accelerator or the, um, the other thing that was in there, the little rod shaped object that's will be coming later on once the engine is actually functioning properly because right now, sure you can fuel in them but good luck stopping yourself so now I'm going to come back in here, I'm going to repressurize And I'm going to get down here because see, it's zero gravity currently. That ladder is not able to be used. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit right here and I'm going to wait until the lights turn white and the pressure reads like 0.9. So at 0.4 bars, you're able to breathe without a helmet on. Like right now, I can take off my helmet and be just fine. For example, I can do that right now, but I'm not going to leave it on. Save myself a little hassle here, try to put it away. I'm going to press F on the door control, and, soon as it, and then once it gets to a proper level, there we are. So now you want to land on your feet though, because you can fall down. And I'll demonstrate that to you right now. So if I come over here and I put myself upside down, and I go, and I go through this doorway, you're going to see me fall down. Land, there we go. Now you heard you got to get back up. Takes a little longer, and there's a little bit of blood. So. First off, first order of business is you want to come over here and you want to turn on your solar panels. And you want to turn on your capacitor. Capac yeah. And then you want to turn on the second solar panel. So there's two solar panels. And you already have a fusion reactor going. So then another thing you might want to do just when you first start off is make sure you go down in the bay and double check all your parts. And see if you might have a mining drill or whatever stuff to have in your bay. Oh shit, sure, that's a big idea. But, um, surprise that that's not good. So, see if right here I have full drills and full canisters. And yes, this is with the current update. This is March 2nd, 2017, right now. So, this is like 1.4. So, also come over here. Here's all your spare parts. Press F. There we go. You got your all your different miscellaneous parts. There you go. Here's your warp cells, your singularity cell detonator. Oh, these look almost full too. This is a pretty good start right now. That's doing awesome. Here's your servo meters, your air processor units, your um, resource injectors. 
Here's gonna be your air, air filters and your um, anything having to do with air is pretty much right here in this container. So and here's your mining um, canisters, your batteries, your drill, all that fun stuff. Over here is your cargo interaction panel. You have three slots: cargo, refining, and slot one. The crafting section is not currently used, you can, uh, but refine is when you um, that's the stuff that ends up from being put into the refining section over here from raw. If you have something in raw, you can drag it over to refining, and then click refine. It'll tell you what it'll give out. Then once they're refined, you can either keep it and refined, or you can move it into your um, active system, which could which might be the RCS, the engine, air generator, oxygen tank, or the or the delirium tank, delirium tank, which is for the fusion reactor, which makes quite a bit of energy, but uses fuel. So now let's go upstairs. And you'll also have to close that door unless it's trying to be pressurized. So let's come over here. You see you have three rifle three rifles. A drawer with some ammo in it. Open this up and you have two regular suits. So now I'm gonna come in here, press F to open the door. I should also double check the air thing. Yep, we're good there. And uh yeah, we'll do. You don't want it red, but I'll leave it red for now come down here double check our warp and press F to open up our singularity cell detonator section there we go it's green that's awesome our warp cells yeah, they look, don't look that great but they should have enough juice for us to do anything so now get over here and sit down on our chair see you have a little um, indicators on your uh, left side I just turned off my helmet overlay so you have the life support the cap stands, stands for that battery. It basically, the cap, the yeah, it's basically the battery for the ship. FTL it starts up by pressing F on the FTL button right here, and it should light up like bluish greenish, like a teal. So now, just so just so I know what's around me, I can press F on the nav. After tutorial, more in detail on how to scan. So I can scan if I want to like that, but I have no tutorial for that. So, but anyways, this in this one. I'm gonna press. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to my nav again. I'm gonna go click on my ship. Okay, there's a lot of stuff in orbit. That is good. So as you can see right here, here I am. The little triangle is me. That's where your ship is currently located at. If you click the home station, it'll take you right back to your home station, right where it's located. There we are. Since so we're right next to it, you don't see it go anywhere. So we maybe zoom out. So now you see that junk thing, it's junk 6FO0666FEE. -E. I want to right click on it, I want to click travel using warp drive. So over here I right, I click down one of these fuel cells. So I you might click more depending on how far you're going and how fast you want to go. You have normal speed, twice the speed, and three times the speed. And it tells you right here how much power it will consume. So now what I like to do, I like to um, right click I mean, left click on the arrival time so then it actually gives me the numbers so I can see it and it says it's too high so what I also like to do is I bring down the um, activation time by I right cl left click in it and I drag down and bring down the time so up so now it's really close by so it still says it's too high there we are 18 seconds should be about right so I want to initialize maneuver initiated so I have 10 seconds to move my ship into or into the position, but as you see, I'm going way too slow to actually make it. So what I want to do now. I press Shift, stop my ship. I'm going to back to nav. I'm going to do it again. So that's exactly what happens when you don't make the warp. If you miss a timer to launch for the activation, then it will it will um, not allow you to continue. It will say up. Oh, you and maneuver was um, aborted or canceled. So now it says inefficient fuel and cells. I'm gonna left click on FTL cell right there. I want to click initiate again. <laughs> so now, as you can see, it takes a long time. Hopefully, I get it this time. And I miss it again. Let's see. That's another thing. You can, you might miss it quite a few times, but it does not take up fuel when you're trying to when you miss it. So now, travel using warp again. 
I'm going to bring that all the way down to 30 seconds again. Put it right next to it. Right next to the, where I'm supposed to be aiming for. So, of course, it's impossible. It means something's blocking it. So, right up. 23 seconds work. So, I want to click the fuel thing and initiate. I want to move my ship, the little dot, right into the middle of it. And once it turns green, I'm going to keep it there. Now I can pull down. There we are. Left clicked. There's our warp speed. And with warp. Here we are. So I'm with the 89 meters of the mod of this junk module. So I'm gonna get out. Come over here. You can either go out your cargo bay and depressurize your whole cargo bay to go out, or just go out to the airlock. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out through my airlock to save some air. You don't want to waste air. It's a very precious resource. So you want to depressurize. As you can see, my helmet's still been on. And this whole time, I've barely used up any oxygen. So now, I want to go into that module. That little junk module, derelict. Sometimes the game will call it either derelict or junk. It depends, I think, on whether it's from before the update or after the update. So, now what I want to do is get ready to go out through my door. Point three, point two. See, it takes a little longer once it starts getting closer to zero to get bring it down to acceptable pressure so it doesn't have pressure hazard. So now I'm gonna F, I press F on that. Okay, now I wanna come out, be very gentle with it, and I'm gonna press V to turn on my suit lights. So it makes it my life a little easier to see inside there because it, it can be really dark. So I want to start decelerating. So you see right here, this is a junk module. Looks like an incomplete airlock. Yeah, that's what it looks like. So now I want to press Control to go down, Shift, and it allows me to grab onto the station. Now you see right here, I have helmets. I have a, I'm going to grab this assault railgun. So I come over here. Let's see what else I have over here? Okay, just a rifle. Oh, look, hacking module. That's pretty good. Those that are used to open up doors are actually locked. So I want to get some ammo. Anything inside this drawer, currently. Oh, cool. I can use one of those, just in case. Just a little extra. Not perfect condition, but it works. Now I want to come over here, and I want to interact with this, uh, I want to interact with this little thing. It's like the same type of thing you have inside your ship. So now here we are. You have your EVA suit, jetpack. So if you're with a buddy, this will work great because you'll get another suit. So I'm not going to completely empty this out. I'm going to take this back and just basically show you guys what you guys can do to start off with. So you see right here I got a little bit lost. So where's my ship at? It's up. There it is. There's my ship. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go inside the airlock. I'm going to repressurize it. And then that will be about it. So, what you want to do though, like I'm coming way too fast, there we are. So when you come a little too fast, if you're going to the airlock, you can press shift. It'll slow you down. Now you press G to throw that because you cannot interact with any, with like this right here, this little airlock control module, um, panel. You cannot interact with it when you have something, when you're holding on to something. You have to let it go. So let me re-grab this, but you can't interact though with doors. If you're holding a suit, like our jetpack I am now, you can interact with the door. That's a nice thing, so you don't have to continuously hold on, um, constantly put it down, up, down, up. But now I'm gonna wait for the pressure to get high enough for me to open the store. Just a little bit, 0.8, and then there we are. Now I'm inside my ship again. Now, I have to come over here, I want to throw this down, I have two hacking tools, that's pretty good. I want to take this off, I want to throw this down, take this and put it on. Same thing you do for the rest of the EVA suit and rifles, like for example I have a rifle right here. So if I want to put it up, I'm going to take off this rifle, put this, equip it, and I'm going to press F to put it up. And real quick, to show you guys what you can do with other old jetpacks you guys might find you guys don't need, or junk jetpacks. You can take the elevator down to your cargo bay. Come over here, press F on that. Tell them to 
press F on your cargo interaction panel. There we are. Uh, so you s now it says cargo refining slot one. It should automatically take you to slot one. So now when I click unload, it will take out all the oxygen and all the propellant from the um, jetpack. Now if I want to, I can put the oxygen into my air generator. But you have to drag over and select the amount you want to put in. Like, okay, now you have nitro. Nitro is only used for your jetpacks. So it's always good to keep some of that on hand as well. So there you guys go. That's how you start off Helion. If you, have, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Until next time.